turn to the bullets. The fifth round is about to get underway. The players are gathering, getting themselves ready. I think they're going to take a group photo. So we have a few minutes to kind of get you up to date on what's going on. And we have the final numbers of the standings. And I think that's probably what people really want to know right now. Kara, we were talking about their Ukraine. It was bad news, bad news. What a round for the Ukraine. Mm -hmm. They're no longer in last place and they're now contending. That's how crazy this can get. A couple of wins and they had just a great round. Uh, Natenko with a big win. Uh, Eugene were catching a few points. They're now uh, yeah, they're at, uh, they're doing great here. Thirty six thousand points. The, the problem now is that the UK, you know, started off really slow, really slow. It's now ultra slow, mm -hmm. and the UK, one of our favorite teams, could very well be on their way out. And when you got guys like Jack, uh, Sam Trickett, and uh, you know all those guys, <laughs> as we have international Patrick star Drewell. Patrick Gruel, <laughs> he doesn't know the cameras five. whatsoever. That was pretty awesome. He's not used to the cameras. That's right, he's not it's used five. to the camera. He doesn't like cameras. <laughs> Only Gruel can do that and get away with it. By the way, yeah. uh, it's a great fight. But the UK just in big trouble. Crazy stat about the UK. Now we don't have the exact uh, up-to-date numbers, but at one point, about 20 minutes ago, uh, Simon Dedman had 17,000 points, and the country has 23,000 points. Yeah. So the, the the rest of the players have 6,000 points. Sam Trickett, whom I've been told has just been unlucky all day, will need to get lucky in this fifth round because suddenly the Ukraine is looking great. Canada, they're all in that net mix, and the UK could be upset and out of this tournament mm -hmm. competition. Hey competition and that's kind of what we really wanted to see because I mean not because of the UK but someone had to be at the bottom going into the fifth round and this changes everything yeah. now the teams are actually you can see they're kind of standing in their little groups they're talking about who has what points who's close to them what matters what should we expect to see now we have some teams that are very big in points like Germany clearly so if you were kind of a team that had a huge amount of points what would you be doing uh, <laughs> If it's Germany, then status quo because go they just the go for the win. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think uh, Germany is definitely in uh, for the next round. I think the issue uh, at this point is winning first place really does matter. Mm -hmm. uh, we just were looking at the schedule. You get about a four-hour break. Yeah. These players are going to have to come back at noon. We're going to finish, what, around midnight tonight or even two. Th no, around 2 a.m. Yeah. tonight. Short day. Uh, poker players don't like the uh, to, to not have any sleep. And six of these teams will not have much sleep. One of them will have tons of sleep because they won't be coming back mm -hmm. but there's another team that does come back to more 3 30 instead of noon just refresh and that makes a huge difference it really does for the moment uh, make a, a huge difference I, what i find funny is that you see all the teams here right now except for the uk and i think that might be a little mm -hmm. rallying cry somewhere else seems to be a party atmosphere True. in here uh some, we have some uh, some food there a couple drinks for the players the uk are not here and that really i think is is very indicative of uh, what's going on for the team right now uh, uh, maybe a, a, the elder statesman is Sam Trickett. Funny that Sam Trickett is the <laughs> oldest player on the team. <laughs> maybe he's got to rally the, the young troops around because at this moment uh, mm -hmm. might be an issue for the Team UK. Absolutely, because as you said, it is incredibly significant. Not only do they want to not be relegated and be out of this competition for the rest of the year, but they... I mean, if they can help it, they don't want to be last either. Right. You, you want to do as much as you can because the points are really going to be important when you carry through to the quarterfinals and then into the semifinals because what they're playing for right now is not just the win, it's the points, and the points then become chips for them, right? That's right. I, I think a big issue at this point, and what really why the UK is in really in a tough spot, they're very far behind suddenly, mm -hmm. and the issue is even if you score points, if the Ukraine or the players in front of you also score mm -hmm. points, if the Ukraine win one match that's 9,000 points it's almost over right. and it's really become I mean we, we talk about sportifying poker this is a total sport I mean it's, this is happening right now you have one team that never expected to be in this situation they're exactly where they are there's a team that looked like it was it was over for them mm -hmm. they get two big wins and now it's the UK and they're just in deep trouble and let's not forget about a few other teams Canada and France they're not out of the woods yet should the UK win a few of these events and eliminate Canada or France early there's suddenly that group so Three big nations could be in big trouble, and the mighty Ukraine could come out of this uh, unscathed and actually in a pretty okay position uh, tomorrow, which an hour ago, no one thought that would that could happen. So yeah, turn up the times. heat late on, and and pretty much anything could happen at this point, as you say. If the situations and the stars all align, and the certain countries you know don't do well, and they don't make the points that they might need to to make, anything could happen. And I think in the last round, in the fourth round, we were watching. 
players were standing up and looking at other tables and they'd hear the call of, you know, all in in a call and everyone wanted to know what was happening because it matters so much. This is very much a team competition. It's not just about individual personalities, which is, you know, not the norm for poker. Poker is a, a single game, usually with single focus right. and one winner. The, the, the great part right now is that if you are a, a so for example, Jack Salter, if you do miss out, maybe on a big hand, you decide to go all in, you lose, you're disappointing four other players. Mm -hmm. So that might come into, they might be so tight that they might finish fourth in all these matches and that might not be good enough. So really some tough times and I don't know what they're going to do, but uh, wow, uh, it's pretty exciting that an hour ago, mm -hmm. things seemed bright and cheery for the UK and now it is miserable and dark. Uh, in London town and everywhere else. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a little bit tense. We've got the uh, fifth match coming up very, very soon. I can see everyone is gathering and getting themselves ready. And like you say, I still don't see Team UK anywhere as I'm looking around the room here. I just don't see them. And everyone else is here, and they all seem pretty eager to get going. And I'm not surprised. No. I mean, we have been in this room for a very long time yes. now. Starting to smell. I'm not going to It not is gonna a, little. a little sweaty. Uh, the boys are really yep. getting it. You can uh, smell the competition. It. That's right. That's right. You could cut the atmosphere with a knife. That's no. Right. It it's tense. I'm it is tense because usually in a poker tournament as a player when you lose if you're disappointed in yourself because right. you played badly right. it's not great I mean I've been there <laughs> enough times it's really not fun but if you've got other people that are, are you know counting on you it's almost like having backers or people who have a piece of you and it matters so much to them as well so you've got all that added expectation and all that added pressure and in this case it is, it is so dire for the UK that they might actually all play very well in this round and still have to go home and that's where they put themselves in this, in this situation so it's it's up to them to figure out a, a way to get out of the doldrums because it is looking that dire right now we're not, we're not overselling this no uh, you can see them right down there 13,000 the points behind mm -hmm. that's at least a win that's exactly what they need and, and again should the Ukraine score early yeah. it might just discourage them and that might be game over for our friends in the UK mm -hmm. so if you're Team UK right now you're going to be keeping your eye on Canada, France and the Ukraine because they're all very close together, That's right? right. Yep. So those are the three. You want to see one of them out, bang, 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 off the table, right. no points, and then you really have a shot here. I, I really think if you do have a, a friend here or someone that's a friend of the team, it might be critical to have that person here with a notepad writing exactly what's happening in every hand. Uh, maybe Duhamel just lost a big pot. That's good for good information for us at the table. Mm -hmm. That might make them decide, you know, when there are four or five left, to actually fold a big hand in order to maybe try to get some more points. So mm -hmm. it's, it, it's our first time, right? So we're going right. to see some... It's the first time not only for us, but for them as well. So it'll be pretty exciting to see what happens next. Yeah, and if we get a chance, someone I really do want to talk to about all of this strategy is going to be Vanessa Selps because right. I think... I. I've listened to her talk about situations like this before, and she is so sharp. I mean, she's got this razor sharp mind, and she really does see all of the different permutations in a way that I find absolutely fascinating. And and you guys are lucky if you're watching this, uh, the English commentary, Jesse May and uh, Joe Stapleton are really good at this as well. I know that Jesse May, I've listened to him talk about situations like this in poker before in terms of points and who needs to get what, and he is an absolute master of this. So you guys are, are really lucky to have the English commentary and all of the languages, I'm sure, are doing a fantastic job keeping you guys up to date on everything that's happening here. I, I think, Kara, when it comes to fish as well, Joe Stapleton, I mean, he's the mega fish, right? So <laughs> he knows when people are fishing around. So <laughs> never get I hope Joe's listening, honestly. I think he might be. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be going back uh, in, the, in the broadcaster's room for a few hours. Someone's going to throw something at your head if you do. Uh, well I wouldn't even try it. <laughs> yeah, they're great. And, uh, I mean, they are working their, uh, their socks off back there as well. There's a lot to be said over these tables and a lot of information to, to cover. And you can kind of see maybe they're in the back of the shot that is all of our players all of our 40 players from our eight different teams that were at the top of the gpi rankings december 31st 2014 the top eight countries in the world for poker and they're getting ready for their team shot there and i do see the uk are now uh, involved in the team shot mm -hmm. so uh, everyone accounted for at this point good good i like <laughs> to see great. that So at this point, maybe uh, there's lots of stuff happening, Kara. Lots, <laughs> lots of, stuff, of happening. stuff happening. There's a lot of in-jokes that we could try to explain, but I don't think they'd be as funny on camera. So 
we're going to go and take a look at this uh, picture of the players there having their photo taken. Some of the best poker players in the world. Better get that photo in while Team UK is still here.